Hey, so, hi again. I am back because it's um, a new day. Um, I got the internet all installed. My Airbnb guest told me everything was working fine and great. Um, and he said, you know, both my laptops are working now. So the mesh router is a win. Yay. Shout out to Google for that. Shout out to Best Buy for that purchase and for it being on sale. So, but the Airbnb guest told me that, um, he said, I think the Amazon work is working, but the Netflix is not. And I'm like, well, we're on the same thing. And I was able to see it. So that doesn't make any sense. He's like, yeah. Like, I tried it, like, three times, and the network's not coming up. What? <laughs> how, Sway? How? So, I'm, like, looking at mine, like, okay, is it working? It has to be working because I'm using it. And so, what I think is going on, because that room has a smart TV. It does not have um, cable access. So when you turn it on, it says network not available. So I think that's what he's thinking, like Netflix. But I was like, just push the Netflix button, it'll come up. Same for Amazon. So it can't be that Amazon's working and Netflix is not because they're both on the internet and I have fixed it. The internet is fixed. I feel very accomplished with my fixed internet. What are you talking about? So figured it out. Ran the update because there was an update for the TV, but it honestly was, I think he's just pressing the wrong button because I tested it and shockingly it worked for me. And I would love to believe that I have the magic touch, but I think I don't. So I think he was just pressing the wrong thing, but thankfully all is well there. I am about to get out of the house now. So if you see me, I'm like in my kitchen right now. And I am about to leave this place because this is the day that the housekeepers come. And I have found that I am usually just in the way. And I don't want that. I don't want to be in the way of the housekeepers. If, if you don't have a housekeeper for your Airbnb, let me tell you why you need to get one. Several reasons. Number one, as clean as you think you clean your house, I promise you, you do not do as good of a job as the professionals do. They scoured this place and I am super happy you come back in and it smells amazing they change the sheets they clean the bathrooms it's amazing so as clean as you think you are and I know that I keep a clean space as clean as you think you are you are not keeping your space as clean as the housekeepers do number two it is a business expense, like the sheets you provide for that room and the towels. And if you provide snacks or any of that stuff, that is a business write-off. There is no reason not to write that expense off. There is no reason that you should not be putting this on your taxes, right? You have to buy towels, business expense. You have to buy sheets, business expense. Part of the electric, the gas, the water, those are all business expenses. Bought an ironing, ironing board for that room. Bought a new hair dryer. Business expense, business expense, business expense. You get it? There's no reason to leave this money on the table as far as your taxes. And honestly, you, you need these things to run a great space. I would say the third reason is peace of mind. I feel like I just saved myself so much time. Like having them come in here and do the room and I let the Airbnb guests know that they're going to come in, they're going to clean the space. Are you okay with that? And they're like, yeah, you mean somebody's going to come and clean the room? Because usually you don't get that with Airbnb except for an additional fee. So even though I do charge a cleaning fee for like the turnover and everything, because it has to be a deeper clean, I I mean, it's it's nominal, like 30 bucks for, for something like, for something like, like room turnover, yeah. But this 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 peace of mind that I have, knowing that the room is going to be clean, knowing the room is going to be taken care of, knowing that the house is going to be clean and presentable, you can't beat that with a stick. Honey, pay the fee. It's worth it. And, and I'm going to say this because, you know, obviously you can see I'm very black. And my hair is just doing its own thing. But let's move past that. So obviously I'm very black and I didn't grow up with any money and we certainly didn't have a housekeeper, right? Like, you know, you clean your own house. You iron your sheets on Sunday and change your sheets after, after doing the laundry every week. That's just what we did. But now I'm older, we have jobs. 
I, I, I'm not interested in putting time towards something that is not going to make me any more money. Me cleaning this house is a necessity, but it doesn't make you any more money and you're really not saving yourself that much. You pay for service, pay to get your hair done, pay to get your nails done, pay for somebody to come clean up your daggone house and save yourself this time and move on with life. It is so worth it. Pay the housekeeper, pay them, do it. Have them come in once a month, just experience it. Try it for three months experience it. And I'm telling you, it's a life-changing thing, but it is a huge difference in terms of Airbnb. So I think this is what you want. You should definitely make it happen. Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, those are like my top three reasons. That's why I do it. It saves me a lot of money. It saves me a lot of time, but yeah, I got to get out of here y'all because I'll check in and tell you my <laughs> Airbnb struggles again because Lord, sometimes it'd be a struggle, but I'm gonna get out of here so I can let them have this house. All righty.